Real quick video here for <clears throat> Robert Nichols. This is like a claim file, which is turned into a litigation file. And this is for claim number 01270564 You can see case number is signed. There in Edwalk County Circuit Court is 31 CV 2024-0000005. Two, which one is mine? The judge Sunstein. That's the first level that he's under. Cover sheet for the file of action, filed suit for fraud and breach of contract. I use a summons. Here's the initial claims instruction that you see. i bring to Edwards. So I've got the actual original documents with USAA. On it, and then of course, authorization for wage information, medical required information, at least there for HIPAA, and here's the north side original patient discharge records. This is a letter from USAA claims information. This is really from USA Bank with claims instructions. This is a letter to Brenda Edwards, June the 30th, 2021, from my law firm. This is a successful facsimile of that letter. USA Bank. Indication of the call log of Brenda Edwards with USA Bank in the G file system. Indication of submitting an email to Brian Jennings and to USAB. Did the claims information in that email was about three pages long with the attachments, including these pictures, his truck, picture of his wallet with his driver's license, but got it damn same, including pictures of his credit cards. Here's my letter from May. To 15th of 2021, the accepted policy limits. Here's the signed documents, stop the other things. The USA Road. Another picture of the wreck. <clears throat> picture of Mr. Jennings there by the wreck after he violently. We were in the vehicle and I was seating them up, stopped at the road. So you can send it to the fire. And we we'll get to the next destination. Here's the officer that showed up at the sun in the picture. Hmm. Part of the claim that was made, the vehicle was paid on in May of 22nd, 2024. I sent this letter marketing the company and if I was going to be suing for fraud. And as indicated on that cover sheet, again, right here, I see USAA, Brenda Edwards, and Mr. Jennings. It was called, so I would like to release of the policy limits within seven days. I named an alternative of $2 million. So policy limits of $2 million, I did not sign a release. Sergio Lopez is irrelevant to the equation. So he didn't pay the medicals, he didn't pay me, and he doesn't have a signed release. So he was to negotiate down the north side, and I guess he did that one way or the other. I had not signed release, and y'all defrauded me and told me you're going to pay policy. Peace be with us, June 14th, 2024.